Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we only talk about what is most obviously very crucially important. Today on This Is Important... Mmm, what that thing smell like? You waited in line for the sex show? You fucking creep. This is what soldiers died for, is so that I could shotgun beers. The way they talk, they keep their boyfriends out at night. Let's go! Woo! Oh, that Woo! shit's important. Too hot, too hot. Don't case! What's up, y'all? Too hot. Hold up. They don't love me like I love you. I'm I'm still singing now. now. Dude, I can't. It's been weeks now, dude. I can't <laughs> I it, I stop holding up. <laughs> Down with the okay, now we're coming in. I was about to say we're coming in kind of lukewarm here, and then uh... are you sure? Wait, hold on. What well, up? I'm feeling I'm feeling dumb and anxious. I had a question for Blake out the gate. Uh, how are your poops? What? How are my poops? I think this is a leading question. He wants you to talk about. Uh... Adam is a scat man, dude. Adam's a scat man. <laughs> yeah, I'm, you're I'm trying a scat. To, dude, I'm a scat. I'm a scatologist, baby. This was what you're coming out lead hitter with is how are my poops? Scat, dude. Scat. <laughs> he wants you to talk about Nola. Hey, you know we don't think. We know I don't think of anything before the pod. This is an all natural. Hey. hey. But it is a slight leading question. I, 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 I do want to talk about Nola. But yeah. uh, you either have diarrhea or you don't. How how are your shits? Are you finally shitting correctly? This It's okay. been like five days now, four days, four days. Diarrhea. Okay, so I see. You're trying to lead into like the epic adventure we had in New Orleans by by Just segueing through our shit. We're coming through the poop system. Well, it's not a segue. It's an intro. I've, it's an opener. I've listened to the TII community. I do like how Adam's like, I got nothing planned, but the question is <laughs> so I know. planned. It's loaded. It wasn't planned. That wasn't planned. I want to talk about Nola, and then immediately I was like, But okay. then you say. <laughs> it wasn't planned. It happened in the moment. Yeah. It happened okay. right then. It's not like five minutes ago I thought of this plan. This happened immediately because I just took a shit, and I'm like, wow, look at that. You know, for a second I was going to believe you, and then you said it's not like I thought about this five minutes ago. That's a very specific number. Yeah, maybe it was five minutes ago. I'm with Durs on this one. Adam is the deal. Adam? Yeah. All right, hey, okay, hey, guess what, guys? I plan everything I'm gonna say. <laughs> yeah, your smoke and mirrors is fucking. The smoke uh -huh. is clearing, buddy. Yeah, and the mirrors are shattered. Okay, I see what's happening. Yeah, you see all the tricks. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little too rehearsed for us. <laughs> so no, but Blake's. I do want. I do want to talk about your butthole. <laughs> <laughs> at, at some and point, shit. we can circle back. And shit. Let's uh, talk about because three. I literally had my uh. first solid shit just just now. Just now. I'll listen to this. <laughs> I'll listen. My body okay. betrayed me. This was the first <laughs> just now. This was the first <laughs> New Orleans experience that I felt this poorly after a few, only a few days. I feel like well, this is forty. My I'm getting older. And mm -hmm. I no longer mm -hmm. can handle because we we it was a four day true bangerang. I'm listening. From the moment we got on that plane till the moment we left. Yeah, it was a bangerang, Peter. It was a roofie. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a roofio. You got roofied. It was a Dante Basco. Uh, it was a Dante's Peak. I I might have. I might have. <laughs> Like if I got roofied, I wouldn't have known because I. They put yeah, they put right. more vodka in your vodka. What is it? What's in this vodka? Oh, Rufio. <laughs> we put more vodka in your vodka. Your boobs are huge. <laughs> Either you have diarrhea or you don't. Um. Yeah. No. I've shit. I'm... Yeah. I'm shitting well. It, okay, no, good. it's actually okay, Adam. If you want the true, honest answer. And thanks for asking. <laughs> if you want the true, honest answer about yeah. my poops, always. I'm listening. It kind of. Hit me last night where it, like wow. it really like I started to unfreeze up. Oh wow, unfreeze. Yeah, because I don't think my body. On see the thing is is I'm 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 finally starting to uh, freeze coagulate. <laughs> ah okay, yeah. the Things the butter's are... churning. Ma masticulate. What's the freeze part though? 
What's the freeze part? I, I don't think my body is like, I don't need a ton of red meat. I don't, I never eat oysters. Like, okay, I'm listening. The things we were putting into our bodies, hurricanes. I mean, I drink buzz balls. They're sort of like a hurricane, but like, yeah. Okay. The stuff in my system, <sighs> some shrooms, I was doing some shrooming. Like, I think Good it just you. like my body like held on to it. And I just, I don't know. Just didn't want to let go of Nolans, yeah. baby. Oh, so you were you were backed up. That the freezing is constipating. Is that what that is? See, I was the I was the opposite. Is that what that is? Yeah, I would imagine I would be more like in Adam's camp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I wasn't of slippery sloppies. Yeah, no, I wasn't. I'm I'm definitely. See, I'm sure a lot of people thought we were kind of go in depth about the weekend and yeah. like uh, that experience, but no, we no, well, no, we've, no, no, no. But then five minutes ago, you wrote the script to talk about diarrhea, and now here we are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we yeah. did. We didn't He's get like, the email. That's not a <laughs> no, I wrote it on Bourbon Street. I, I had a. What's my next line? <laughs> you were thinking about it. You were thinking about what people will be thinking, what the angle is. <laughs> no, he's trying to say. I wrote it on Bourbon Street. I'm like, what does TII Nation want to talk? Want to talk about? I like Trust. to think. <laughs> Trust the plan. I, I will say that, guys, you guys would be proud of our fans. We saw a lot of TII Nation along the parade mm -hmm. route. I saw probably like five or six signs. I saw a sign that said F Paramount. E F. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my Paramount. gosh! It's a wow. Diarrhea. Yeah, Blake put that up. I think Blake was that in yours, Blake, in your ten post. I posted it. Yeah. Well, Blake posted that one. Yeah. We'll repost on the Insta. We uh, we we got a I uh, I love your content. Nice okay. sign. Nice hot, sign. Hot, hot, hot. Yeah. Uh poster. I saw a TII Nation poster. Uh -huh. I saw okay. a nice sign. That shit's important. A bunch of workaholics and pitch perfect posters, but we nice uh, sign. TII right. Nation was was out and perfect. Proud. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Yeah, they were. They were and they they what they said say hi to Kyle and Durs and we said nope. Hear it no, yeah. not nah. not having well, it. Hell no. Nah, nah yeah. dog. But you just did, so that's cool. Thanks, <laughs> yeah, guys. So guys. Take hey, that. hey, guys. Yeah, we got and the that's, message. And that's our Hi. Blake's first take back. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Hope you had a wonderful Mardi Gras. So, Kyle, Durs, ask us. Ask us questions. Come on, interview us. Ask us. Yeah, hit us. What were you guys thinking? <laughs> I feel like... Um... What about, about Mardi Gras? Go ahead, Durs. Yeah. You can take it. Come on, ask us. I'm listening. Super, super, super jelly was, I feel like I was with you in spirit. Had a bunch of okay. family here in town. Uh, mm -hmm. Couldn't make it. Um, but yeah, the costumes, Adam, I don't know why you would ever wear anything else than that King's outfit <laughs> for the rest of your days. I thought you'd pull up today wearing full regalia. Well, doesn't it? It was kind of cool because I looked like... Or like the if you just had a beard on me, I kind of looked like their like cartoon Bacchus King. Very mm -hmm. shagadelic. Oh, like you you embodied it. You look like the Burger King. The like sort of sort of portly, like a guy yeah, that wow. like for sure drinks a lot and eats a lot of um, meats and cheeses. The true Bacchus. Yes, they finally found him. Yeah, so it it was pretty natural when I when I strapped on the gear, like all the Bacchus right. people. Um, we're like, <laughs> we're, oh, like <laughs> we're like, oh my, this is a, a natural fit. Right, welcome home. You know, because you don't want to. Like last year was Josh <laughs> Dumel. You know, uh, Josh Dumel. Oh, uh, super that, handsome that, giant head. Super handsome big head jawline. Yes, too handsome. Have you ever seen his head in person? <laughs> Not Way in too person. Handsome. Not Yo. no. Heavy. It's a heavy head. I've ne I it's a head. I would love to talk to him about it because it is <laughs> where it, it has a it has a way about it. <laughs> you want to turn uh, you want us to turn down or what? <laughs> yeah. Well, that was that was the old way. You couldn't be a star back in the day without a giant head. I feel like that right. is changing a little bit now. But uh yeah, we're changing that. Yeah, ever since ever since Beetlejuice, Howard Stern's Beetlejuice, I feel like small heads are they're like this works. <laughs> Right. This works. <laughs> I need some Beetlejuice sound bites. Yeah, so he was the guy last year. Yeah, th it's kind of comical to see him dress as a, a king. It's like, all right. But for you, know, like, you it's like, that's right. Yeah. On. It was perfect. It, everybody saw it and said it was a perfect fit, huh? Well, it's a perfect for New perfect. Orleans. So yes. Bacchus <laughs> is the uh, god of merriment and wine. I'm proud of that. That's great. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yes, Bacchus. Okay. So, 
Yes. Let's explain Bacchus. Let's step that oh, out a little right. bit. Bacchus, I didn't I didn't know what that was either. I was told because I've never been <laughs> You didn't know you were living it? Yeah, yeah that I've been you... living it for, for 39 years. Yeah, baby. Well, maybe when they came up with the pictures of the Bacchus, may, when was that? When did maybe they start a... cartooning this? Maybe it's a... Like 19, I want to say 1964? A relative. It's a reincarnated version of oh, you, bro. Kyle. You're oh, God. Oh. Thank you, God. Oh, Kyle, oh, Kyle go, go into more of that. Go into more of that, Kyle. <laughs> yeah, Kyle, do you believe in reincarnation? I don't see how you can rule it out, but I don't know what I believe in. You know okay. what I mean? W watch me. Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes when, when something so kismet as me yeah. as the Bacchus King, you're like, mm -hmm. uh oh, something. There's another. Mm -hmm. As the Bacchus. There's another spirit working here. There's right. some mm -hmm. different kind of energy. Mm -hmm. Because if that's what they do. Yeah, if that's mm -hmm. what they do is they dress Bacchuses every year. Yep. And mm -hmm. this was the one. And they're like. You're it. Well, I will say that I like that means something. That means something. <laughs> that does. It does. I won. I, they let me choose my costume. They let me like oh, really? give them suggestions. Oh. So I. You designed it. That's why the butt was cut out the back. <laughs> yeah, that's why my okay. whole right. butt okay. was cut out. He's like, yeah, okay. cool. And I had a tube let this on, out my, here. on my throne so I could just shit. Easier for shitting. Yeah, I could just <laughs> yeah, shit on yeah, the parade really route. Good. Circle back. He brings it right back. Not that you, you needed the... to. <laughs> Let's talk about that diarrhea. Uh, but I'm legit. <laughs> yeah, you got that five-gallon bucket ready? I was you got the... <laughs> uh, legit so sore up until... Uh, like yesterday, <laughs> mid-afternoon, I finally got unsore. And I didn't think... From standing or walking or what? What part of your body? Yeah, what part of your body? From Because I had to, my left side of my back from bending over, because I had these guys uh, handing me beads, but they're three mm -hmm. steps down. So I had to bend over, pick up the beads, and throw. And throw. Yeah. Are those beads Are those beads heavy? Are they heavy? After, I mean, not initially, but after like four hours of throwing them, they, they get heavy. So they were throwing like one or two at a time. Yeah, they look heavy on the videos they look heavy as fuck yeah i was throwing like 12 at a time and i was right. like there's no way i'm gonna be sore from yeah. this you know what i mean you were thinking what? that already <laughs> yeah well no because they, they're heavy they, it's part of the script you were like man this is fun <laughs> good thing i won't be sore from this <laughs> No, they told me, they were like, you're going to be really sore tomorrow. Just know that you're going to be exhausted, super sore. And I'm like, <laughs> they weren't ahead of that. They're like, P people before were sore, so we've actually made the guy three steps higher. No, 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 no. Okay, Dur you're right, Durs. No, because then it would block the view of me. But they can't put it on like a, like a selfie stick and just have him like reel it up to you so you don't have to <laughs> bend over? Then I'm not throwing enough. It's yeah, the no, soreness I, is part of it. What, you, I think, you get the thing that like boats have with the hook, and you just that, you reel them up to the... It would slow it down. It would slow it down, Durs. Dude, I have a fucking grabber thing. I have a... Hey, hey, watch it. Next year, if they hear this next year, a robot hand. Thank you. A robot hand? I have a, I have like a, th I have a three foot grabber and my son has like a one and a half foot little toy grabber too. Kyle, you're Bacchus next year. You're doing it and you're going to fucking, uh, you're you coming. Be no, he'll be working for the Bacchus. <laughs> well, whoever's Bacchus. Yeah. A sober Bacchus. I don't know. I don't know if they've ever had that. Oh, wow. That would be kind of cool. That's kind of cool. That'd be a game changer. Kyle would look like Dr. Octopus. He's just like. <laughs> <laughs> Boctopus. Yeah. Yeah. The god of non-alcoholic wine and merriment. I, I, by the way, I like how Adam's like truly <laughs> offended. He's like, yeah, that, that'll work. Fucking god of wine, sober. <laughs> like, not having it. He's not having it at all. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try it. Try it. Put your name out there, Kyle. There is. Kyle. It's a problem. Yeah, well, okay, well. Yeah, good luck with that. I, well, yeah. I'm on the dais and I'm not selecting you, so. I hope you get murdered. I'm the real Bacchus. I'm the real Bach boy, okay? <laughs> it's going to my head. Kyle, you could start your own parade. It, you really can. Harry Connick Jr. did it. And oh. his, yeah, he's doing pretty well at it. So oh, you yeah? can start a crew, dude. Is his shit brought to you by anything? Is he sponsored by stuff? You know he is. He has to be. Acme yeah. and Worcester House, probably. 
Probably. Mm. What do you mean? He has a dueling parade out there? At the, or what do you mean? Oh, Kyle, there's so many parades, brother. There's so many parades. Oh, guys, tell me how oh, Mardi God. Gras works. My my <laughs> grandmother loved it. My grandmother loved Mardi Gras. She always told me about how much fun she had in Mardi Gras. Yeah. Release the twins. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Uh, hey, naked, naked grandma. grandma. Naked grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a naked, naked grandma? grandma. <laughs> Yo, know, she rocked. I will say I didn't see any. I mean, of course, probably they're not flashing the king's float because I, it's. I'm. We right. saw an alarming amount of boobs beneath me by like eight, eight, ten uh, feet. Alarm. Yeah. There, there's like twenty kids. <laughs> Ring the alarm. Mm -hmm. Of like a right. bunch of like nine and ten year old kids, and they're like my pages. They're there to help me and throw out. Hold up. Stuff. Right. So I understand that, but. Blake said he oh. didn't really see any either, and people further down the float said they didn't. Blake, Blake just said he saw an alarming amount of. Blake just said he saw an alarming amount. Oh, it was Ooh. alarming amount is that there weren't any. Not on the parade. Exactly, Durst. Okay. Thank you. I saw yeah. an alarming oh. amount of boobs. I'm a little worried about what's happening to Mardi Gras. I think we've lost, because of cell phones, we've lost a little <laughs> bit of... Right. Alarming amount of boobs meaning what? Meaning Very what, few. I think yeah. I saw like okay. three sets the whole four to five days. I mean, I can't ima I can't, I can imagine that as soon as they whipped out, phones just go... Whoosh. Okay, so here's yeah. the other thing. Yeah, so you know there. Yeah, that's annoying as fuck. There's balconies along Bourbon Street, and that's where you're really like. That's the parade ow. is like family right. friendly. Bourbon Street is like. Yeah, the parades are very family friendly. A crazy. Other than the shootings, other than the shootings and stuff. <laughs> besides that, yeah, <laughs> that wasn't family friendly for sure. There was there was there a shooting. There was a shooting. Yes, there was a shooting. There was there was yeah. And we're mm -hmm. not talking mm -hmm. about like uh, little shooters. It's so sad. No, I don't want to start with the, the poop part, but we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> yeah, there was a shooting, but I guess there is like every year. And it's kind of it's a bummer because it makes it, it the it was such a fun event. It makes that it a little sad. Right. But, uh, yeah. you know, shit happens. New Orleans. But the whole thing is kind of scary. Even walking on, like, it, it feels very, like, lawless. It is mm -hmm. an interesting. Well, that's like Bourbon Street, though. When we shot House Party out there, that was, like, right mm -hmm. when I got sober. And I was like, this is real. This is how we do it. <laughs> yeah, but it's still, <laughs> like, what? The, it's best. Going it's still the best. I'm not taking anything away. <laughs> I've never, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I say this in the best way possible. It feels very, like, oh, my gosh, anything could happen. Even, like, yeah. good stuff, bad stuff. As far as the, the crime rate in New Orleans right now is like sky high. So, mm -hmm. and this is the first year that Mardi Gras is back full steam. And uh, yeah. okay. as far as that, I'm very happy that there wasn't more. There yeah, wasn't more totally. shootings. Like the fact that there was one is like, okay. But, uh, you know, the, it could have been much, much worse. And we had, like security was all over. The police right. were, were out and about. Right. You know? So they're, they're doing their best. Well, I just remember going for uh, only like 48 hours for house party and getting there. Mm. And I'm not going to name names, but somebody on the mm -hmm. crew had just decided, I'm going to go join the people and just walked away from production. No. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, well, that happened quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. It, no, no, no. I mean, like, disappeared and, like, nobody knew where she was. I mean, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Was. They, they, it wasn't that she got kidnapped. She left and was like, I'm going to just be part of this thing. Yes. Our, yes. our production ex swept away. And everyone's like, how do we do this now? Our production experience in New Orleans was uh, a handful. Naked, naked um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was, but, was kind of whoop -hap. Well, the issue, the issue with that is that we didn't, we didn't bring a lot of New New Orleans crew. We brought a lot of our people from LA right. to New Orleans. And then those people, they they hear the jazz music playing, the delicious mm. smell of the, the beignets are in the air. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, oh, you yeah. know what? I gotta go join the people. If you're from New Orleans, this is your everyday life. So I feel right. like those because I've worked in New Orleans quite a bit on movies mm -hmm. and different things. And those crews are great. It's the fact that we Adam brought people. Adam was also a fisherman there. Right. <laughs> that Movies. we brought people. I was on a shrimp boat for a while. Uh, it's the fact that we oh brought boy. people and they lost their minds. They couldn't yeah. handle the, the fun that was happening. Mm -hmm. Hey, did, speaking of when we did that on Frenchman Street, did the parade go down Frenchman Street as well? It didn't go down uh, Frenchman Street. Dude, that's the thing. I had no idea where I was at any time. That's the fucking street, bro. <laughs> 
Did you guys go to Frenchman Street, Adam? Did you go to Bamboola's and all that stuff, or were you just ca- no? But I I went like I I was there like uh, over Christmas, and we went then. I snuck mm. out there. Oh yeah, that's cool. I go to Frenchman quite a bit, but no, we didn't go this time. I wasn't like since I was Bacchus, they were super protective of me essentially right so yeah they wouldn't let him out the hotel room that's what i was wondering so they're yeah you you're being so they they're like we don't want you to go out you someone throws a bottle or something taken around and you get hit in the head and then now that's like on the news wow dude. Right. That, right. that like the bacchus king we can't protect <laughs> the bacchus king and then now no one wants to be the bacchus king which right. is silly as it is i hope that was like their example Hey, we can't let you out. If a bottle hits you, you're like, <laughs> that literally <laughs> was, you know, or like uh, someone, you know, because there's <laughs> assholes out there that are like, oh, that's the, the king of the Bacchus Parade this year. Fucking huck this bottle at him or whatever. Yeah. Or that's Adam Devine. Yeah. That's a cool flick. Yeah. That's Adam Devine. I'm yeah. trying to punch Adam Devine. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I've been out in New Orleans. A, Save a, the Bacchus King. You know, hundreds of times and that's never happened. So I felt pretty confident it wasn't going to happen. But yeah. you, know. you would have caught the bottle anyway, dude. You're a G. Yeah. And my team. And chugged it. Yeah. That's why you're Bacchus, dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. King. <laughs> you're the god and of My wine. tiny little teeth. <laughs> Can I get Ding. a merriment? <laughs> uh, so yeah, it was it was a blast. Um, we had like legendary. What what night was the fucking peak? What like oh, did man. you guys progress properly or how do we? I feel well. The parade was for sure because the parade yeah. route. There's like millions of people along the parade route, right? Mm-hmm. And it was I would say much 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 crazier than the Macy's Day Parade. Macy's was like <laughs> the streets are wider. Okay, but I mean there was probably the same amount of people, but like it was just mayhem. It was right. like people yeah. are right up on the float, screaming, right. like chanting, like truly losing their minds. Uh-huh. And then we come into the convention center and there's 10,000 people waiting. And you, That was the craziest Doyle. part. And then the whole parade goes past the convention yeah. center and then we loop back around. Sorry, you go into the convention center, like down onto the floor and then back out? Yes. And, and, then, and then we go around. And then people can sit there, buy tickets, and be like, oh, yeah, sick. So, and those are yeah. all Bacchus members or close friends and family of Bacchus members. In the stadium. Convention center, yeah. Oh, are, nice. Yeah, you don't want to be out in the dope. street with the rich. Naked right. grandma! Yeah, and that's that's like a black tie gala. So everyone's in tuxedos and nice gowns. Right. And it's also BYOB, so it's nice gowns with, like, Good. coolers full that's of vodka. It was hilarious right just boxes of wine everything you think is about to be like normal oh like there's a black tie event with dresses and all that then they're like it's byob and you're like what the fuck it just took it <laughs> and they're yeah. like we got crawfish in our cooler and you're like i fucking love this place that's yeah. the thing new orleans just throws you curveballs in every corner that's a great that's great i like yeah. that you could do a it, black tie event but you have like a picnic status and bring your own booze yeah, and shit. that's fucking wild. radical water trash <laughs> and then and then they just like that. And then it was I like want uh, in on that. Uh, <laughs> then they had like mixers on the table. They provided like the yeah. soda water and the, right. the coke and the yeah. liters of cola. Bro, that's yeah. so ill. And then and then the Beach Boys, the Beach Boys performed. It's like cool, the condiments dude. if you're cooking hot dogs. <laughs> Oh yeah. shit! Who which uh, ones? Boys. Um, was Brian I, Wilson there? There's no way. There's no way. No, Brian Wilson was not there. That sucks. N- no, not Brian Wilson. The I don't other think he, uh, Mick Fleetwood. Um, Mike. Mike. Lo- is it Mike Love? <laughs> yeah, Mike Hart. Mike Love. Mike Love. Mike Ro- Mike Rowe. Yeah, it was Mick Jagger. <laughs> yeah, all the Mike, Mike Love. Kevin Dude, Love's it uncle. Sick. It was really. Right. We talked about right. This. We did talk about. <laughs> Damn, this. We son, talked about where'd you find this? <laughs> that's that's interesting. Kevin Love and the Miami Heat. The Beach Boys were sick. We definitely had a little Beach Boys mosh pit going. It was. That's done. Oh, cool. cool. <laughs> that's good. I like that too, dude. I couldn't help myself. I was with Zach. I wish I was pizza. We're like California boys. What song were you moshing to? Wouldn't it be nice? God only knows. Dude, wish they all could be California girls. California girls. Wow. I never, you know, when I was a kid, I never understood that song. What do you mean? I didn't get it. Oh, really? I got it. Why didn't he switch it to New Orleans girls? Well, because, dude. Because it's ca- the song is California Girls. <laughs> California Girls, dude. Yeah. No, I know. But I mean, like, you're in New Orleans. <laughs> In Mardi Gras, it's it it would be people would like it. I'm like they just, would like it, but they you kind of like yeah, 
Look at Adam, a man of the people. <laughs> but th actually sing it, though. Ad California, <laughs> New Orleans. I don't know, man. It might sound a little weird. Wish they all could be New Orleans, girl. I would have moshed to it. I would mosh it. I wish they all could be New Orleans, girl. They all could be New Orleans, girls. You just extend the New Orleans, girls. Yeah. It's fine. It's you, could got the you could extend it. <laughs> Okay, Bumper, chill, brother. Okay. Oh, Bumper. This is the way. Kyle hey. just got bumped. It doesn't have the same ring to it. As a California born and bred, it has to be that. You cannot I'm change that song. Wait, but let me just say this. I didn't understand California Girls, the song, when I was a kid. I'm a dude. Yeah, what's I up was with like, that? I was like, so he's saying, as a kid, I was like, <laughs> so he's saying uh, uh, all these girls, da 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 I wish they right. could all be California girls, like, that we got rid of all the the farmers' daughters or whatever the fuck it was, the East Coast girls, and made them California girls. I didn't realize he was saying, "I wish they could all be here in California." Oh, you thought it was yes. like some weird science thing where we were bringing in all the Midwestern girls and I guess and putting I them in a machine <laughs> and creating. I guess I didn't really ever break down California girls when I was a kid. I was. Uh, but do you did you realize that's what it was? I, I'm just, my mind's being blown right now. I'm kind of like, <laughs> really? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I just never really gave it thought. <laughs> I only hear Californian girls. I didn't, I've never heard the actual lyrics. I know. That's why I'm clowning on Kyle, who's like, I, I'm proud of my California girls. I'm like, I think the song is about girls from everywhere, and he's wishing they could be in California. Oh. Uh... Yeah, because it's like with the way they talk, they keep their boyfriends out at night. Wait, so no one got, no one knew this? No, dude, you're blowing my fucking mind right now, and I love you for this. No, well, that is, I wish they all could be California girls. And I don't think th he's saying I wish they all could be here in California. I wish, I think he's saying I wish they were all like cool, blonde. No, that's what it is. No, that's what I thought talking it was. About, right. He's, not he's that. complimenting all these different regions of girls, and he's saying he wishes they were all in California. Oh. Or he wishes California spirit was everywhere. Or he's doing that. So this guy's like a horny old dude. Yuck. Oh, yeah. He's Yuck. down. Right? He wanted a huge <laughs> female migration to the West Coast. He wanted the trail of beers and boobs. Or, or now I'm just going off here. <laughs> or he wants okay. the Cal he wants the California vibe to go everywhere, which yeah. is what the Beach Boys that's, did. That's oh. what I thought. I did too. But I don't think it's that. If you listen to the song, I've he's, never. He's talking about how great <laughs> different girls are from everywhere, and he's like, "I wish they were all California girls." Well, all I can think of right now is. Oh. We were just there, and he serenaded us, and I still didn't clock that fully. Yeah, literally, I wasn't lyrics. in a. Uh, I, I saw a photo of Blake leaving the event. It was something that someone posted. I'm like, oh, I haven't seen Blake like this in a long time. I was like, like Comic Con dragged out. Yeah, yeah, he he was fully cross-eyed. Yeah. By the end of that night, I was starting to feel like a little sick. I was starting to feel sick. Well, the sugar drinks do not. Uh... And yeah. By the way, we made it to the end. We did. Hell yeah. Oh, hey, yeah, with yeah, Anthony yeah, Mackie, yeah, I saw. Yeah. We were the second king in the history of Bacchus to mm -hmm. make it to the end, and I knew we would. Really? We were hanging on by a thread. Was it truly close? Was it a close call? Oh, it was. It was like people were like, "You have to leave." People in your party are like passing out, like yeah. you know, people are fully cross-eyed, and I was Wake like, up! "Yeah, you didn't, you didn't care." <laughs> I was like, in five <laughs> minutes, we have to make it." I was like, "We had to make it," and literally, they turned on the lights, and I'm like, "Let's go." You yeah. just and, fell and, back and, like Jesus Christ, and had him carry you. Yeah, I was like, "Carry me, <laughs> carry me out of here." We caught him. He tr he trust fall. He did a trust fall. We all caught him. But yeah. I would say yeah. that I mean that night was epic. But it was like just fell in. <laughs> Exhausting. It was a lot. It felt like a little bit of a like like a wedding. You know when right. you're the you know we've all been married. The when you get married, it's not the best day usually. Like it like the ceremony yeah. is awesome, but like for me it was like yeah. you're you're glad handing a lot. You're saying hi to all the aunts and uncles. You're going. You're you're talking. Mm -hmm. T you're tipping around to the waiters and staff. You're doing all that instead of like the the oh. Like the two days before party was yeah. like the most fun, where it's just right. like you're relaxed, you're having a good time, you're with your I'm friends. I'm still gonna family. send it. And that hey. I think was the same. They they had like a 
You're wrestling your uncle in the pool for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You're fighting your uncle in the pool. Uh, mm -hmm. They had a big uh, party, a black tie event called the King's Gala. Mm -hmm. And that was like we all wore tuxedos and went to and mm -hmm. it was like a nice ball, which was like it would have been better than any wedding. That, that Was that the cooler one? Uh that this was all catered. It's it's smaller. There was like probably like oh right five hundred people there or something. But it was at a World War Two museum, and I shotgunned beers, and they're like, "This is a museum. You gotta stop." And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, dude." <laughs> oh really? And you were like, "Yo, are you from here? Uh, what the sorry. fuck? Sorry, sorry, dog. This is what I want to know. I want these moments. This is what soldiers died for, is so that I could shotgun beers. That is true. Yes, he did." He kept saying that. This is what soldiers <laughs> died for. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, really? I'm a man. Brought to you by <laughs> Buzzball. Is it real? Yeah, and that that I think was probably my favorite night. Blake, what was you what was your favorite? <laughs> oh God, they're all just one big night, really. But yeah. uh there was a night that yeah. me and Mikey Lovano snuck out to the mom's ball, which was a really trippy thing that Whoa. Kyle, I think he would have liked. I saw this on Instagram and I was like, what's the mom's ball? It was kind of like the <laughs> like the hipster hipster ball of New Orleans. Like it's something about like outcasts. I forget what the acronym stood for, but it was like for like misfits. Outcasts. Outcasts. Oh, and motherfucking and and some shit. <laughs> yeah. oh, motherfucking whip wow. Kyle. Kyle's in. Oh wow. <laughs> Yeah, Kyle. So it was like it was like costume mandatory, and me and Mikey rolled up with just like some hats. Like, oh, oh yeah, this will count. Yeah. And there's a dude outside checking for costumes. Just like, mm mm, you're going to jail. You're going to jail. So you go to this thing called costume jail, and it's this big tent with a bunch of like random ass gear in it. Wow. And as soon as you walk in, the girl's like, "Take your shirts off." So me and Mikey, we're like, we don't have tickets. We don't have. She's like, "Whip your dicks out." Yeah. Right. Uh, we would have put them in each other's butts. We yeah. would have. We didn't have any ticks. We didn't have right. anything to speak for. So nice. But fuck your best friend. <laughs> right. We would have. I'm not. We would have. We, we were might in jail. have. We might have. I. I don't fully. <laughs> we would have. We. At that point in. The, at that point in the night, you. You might have. <laughs> for mom. Yeah. I'll do it. I'll do it for mom. <laughs> so we stripped down. They like threw me in some lingerie. They put Mikey in like a oh. big ass sweater for some reason. Right. <laughs> <laughs> They're like they don't they don't want to see him in lingerie. <laughs> And then you cut, so you walk in, and everybody's in it. Like the theme was like space and alien. Right. You were in a dress or something, right? Yeah. yeah they okay. threw me in lingerie and like put you a tail great. on my ass. Thanks, man. Yeah. Where'd you put your clothes that you were wearing? What happened to those? Dude, they're Burned just them. gone. Yeah, yeah. You just lose them. Really? They're just gone? Yeah, they're just gone. No. Wow. You really lived that life, huh? Yeah, dude, it was sick. You just throw t-shirts away? Damn, you just left them on the ground in the fucking but jail? You, your t-shirts are like $5,000. <laughs> yeah, he's got $5,000 t-shirts <laughs> you're just tossing out. Gonna send it's it. okay, he's got, he's got a whole but, storage locker full. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't worry, there's more where that came from. Mm. But it was like basically like a warehouse party with three stages. There were like these crazy jam bands going into, and then in the third warehouse was like... Okay, <laughs> okay. But like jazz... Jazz jam bands, yeah, like okay. there's saxophones in every band and shit, but it was right. Fun. Just a jazz, it was just a jazz band, no, no, uh, no, dude, it was jam band shit. Like, like fish? they had like, it, well, jazz is jamming. It, well, so. it was jammy jazz. It was jammy okay. jazz. Yeah, probably jammy soul jazz kind of yeah. thing. But there's like, it's like all like black light shit and like trippy. Well, you know. You know that there's different music besides just jazz music in New Orleans. <laughs> That's true. They, they play all kinds of music there. It's just a, a very musical city. Right, but he's saying jam band, and that to me is like fish. And I'm like, really? So they're playing like that kind of music there as opposed to... No, it was. It was more It was more leaned fish than jazz for sure. Yeah. It was at this party. But then the third room was like a... A 360 stage with just two like electronic drummers mm -hmm. and like these weird ass helmets it almost felt like a Daft Punk but drumming and it was That's fucking That's it was tight. cool yeah. dude. 360 are they back to back? But wasn't it also kind of like an orgy? Wasn't wasn't uh Oh yeah. They were back to back. Blowjobs and, and cunnilingus happening all over. Okay, here we go. 
Okay, that's the fourth room. So the fourth room, the fourth room is like Oh, this is why you said I dig it. Take your shirt off. Blow suck his dick. Yeah. 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 Suck your best friend's dick. Fuck your best friend. Right. That's what so ev- the reason I even knew about mom's ball is like I got a few DMs that are like, dude, you need to pull up the mom's ball because it's like fucking gets weird and I'm like <laughs> and and DMs from people you know or just as strangers and you're like gotta just follow my nose gotta follow my nose the nose of okay. his dick yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I would, it's just something you have to experience Points. workaholics movie <laughs> never gonna happen Point. <laughs> Point. weird wild stuff DOA yeah so there's a like this fourth part of the room that it supposedly is like sex show shit but <laughs> when me and Mikey got in line it for some reason, it closed down. They came over and they're like, yeah. <laughs> "You waited in line you for the sex to, show, dude. you fucking creep, <laughs> <laughs> dude." I had to see it all, man. I had to see it, and they were, and they didn't give a. Well, f- you did, you did. Yeah, but that you, if you see it, you gotta smell it. I don't know what's that room. Very shaggy. I don't know what that thing smell like. Wait. So you didn't get to you didn't get to go in, Kyle. You, I we didn't get to go in. Some like old lady came oh. out. And she's like, "Show's over. Not it's not happening. <laughs> Show's over." She threw. She fucking just limps past you. She threw her her titties over her shoulder. Sixty nine oh, dudes. Over. <laughs> show's over, fellas. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> You look at, by the way, I do love if like an old lady walks out, throws her titties over her shoulder, shows over and just limps away. And then you, you look in the door and there's just like 12 no. dudes exhausted on the ground. Like, <sighs> <sighs> yeah, just heavily breathing. I, I like, I, I like talk to people who went in and they're like, there's like these drills with dildos at it. Like it sounded like it got weird in there dude Drill i don't know wild uh, like stuff. part weird of me is like <laughs> kind of hyped that we didn't get in but so this is where i need to go this is where i need to go it was the eastern european porno with like the dudes in the room would just fuck through the hole kyle this is your heaven <laughs> this is where i need to go sober as a judge and just be like fucking watching on the wall just like yeah. what's going on over here scientists <laughs> yeah yeah and just remember everything yeah, that was I think that was the same night that me and Chloe uh, renewed our vows drunkenly at like 3 a.m. Was that the same night? <laughs> That's That's right. Right. You guys got a, <laughs> you got ahead of it. You already did that. Well, it was <laughs> we were drunk and we were saying <laughs> that's yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> how bummed we were that Sam uh, Blake's girl yeah. didn't get to be at our wedding. She wasn't right, at our wedding, yeah. and we were like, "Oh, we're so bummed at that." When and she was like, "Well, you should do it again," and like, "We're doing it again." And then Mikey you know I mean? was like, "I'm an ordained minister. I could do that shit right now." And we're like, we're doing it right now. Yeah. And then I like didn't remember until the next day when they're like, yeah. And then you when you renewed your vows, and then everything like came back to me, and mm-hmm. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> and then I was like, and none of us were wearing pants. And sure enough, yeah, I don't know why. There's videos of like all of us just with our pants at our ankles, mm-hmm. uh, getting uh, <laughs> underwear <laughs> still on. Yeah, underwear still on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and renewing our vows with with Mikey giving a speech. Nice. Yeah. Literally the end of every night, I do not remember. Yeah. <laughs> I, that sounds I insane, do not. by the way. Well, can we talk about the more... And I'm sorry. I think somebody's like drying shoes in the laundry room behind me. I don't know what the fuck's going it. on. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, we're not but wait, tell me hear. about the mornings. Like, how are we feeling? <laughs> the Is there like a sense oh. of camaraderie? <laughs> Somebody's trapped behind hers. <laughs> the crazy... So, so we know how much I, I, I drink caffeine, right? Everyone know, like you guys know, I'm a real addict. We I have five, six cups of coffee every day, and Boy. then I switch to Red Bull or soda for the rest of the day. Uh, did, did you have to Z? I didn't have one cup of coffee. I immediately yeah. went to vodka. I immediately <laughs> went to uh huh. Yes, Red Bull what? vodka. Uh, no, uh, like a Bloody Mary or like a screwdriver. So no caffeine the whole week. Yeah, I just like didn't. I I ended up like tor- later in the night. I would I had like a Red or Bull something. vodka or, or okay. something, but like yeah. I never had <laughs> like six or seven. I never just had like a <laughs> cup of coffee or a soda or right. anything Dude. that didn't have alcohol in it. It was truly insane. But tr- like in the morning, did you ever have a water? 
Yeah, I think we were, I, yeah. we were having some water. <laughs> we, so. Kyle, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Yeah. Did you what have water? I, hey, while we're here, I'm going to ask the question. I want to know if you survived. Dude, I'm really good at drinking water. I'm a fucking pro okay. water drinker. Yeah, you know my guy drinks what water. What you ass say? Yeah, dude, I That's cool. chug water, homie. Don't say that as Bacchus, bro. There's uh, Water's ice, dude. Ice has water in it, dude. Yeah, don't talk to Bacchus about <laughs> drinking water, dude. Water. water. Trash. Bacchus is good at drinking water, so I think it's important to show all of Bacchus. That's your crew, Kyle, the freaking hydrators. <laughs> I think it's important to let the people know all of Bacchus. That's your crew. <laughs> The hydrator. No, I would. I do a classic. I do like a classic Peter. college bro <laughs> chugging a water where you take the end and just smash it in your face and yeah. drink the whole thing as mm -hmm. fast as you can. Fucking yeah. drink it as aggressive yeah. as you want, Peter bro. But let them know that Bacchus drinks water. Yeah, right yeah Bacchus you. drinks water. We beer bonged water the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> bro, that's sick. There was sick. a lot of water drinking. <laughs> Admittedly, little bums that we didn't have a beer bong in the suite. They We had like this nice hotel uh, suite where in, that was in between my room and Blake's room that everyone partied in. We should have mm -hmm. had a beer bong in there. Yeah, yeah, that would have put that in, You got to put that in your rider, whatever I should, your contract I is. <laughs> what kind of Bacchus are you? You have a fucking <laughs> yeah. beer bong. Unbelievable. I haven't beer bonged in so long. Yeah, He's a water drinking Bacchus. <laughs> That's what he is. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a he. Kyle's asking the hard hitting questions. Yeah, em embarrassing, embarrassing. Dude, when you wake up in the morning, though. <laughs> oh, no, I'm proud of Bacchus. I love Bacchus still. It doesn't change anything to me. Thanks, Kyle. Yeah, no, that's yeah. a cool Bacchus. That's a 2023 Bro. Bacchus. You drink water. It's a well-rounded, three-dimensional Bacchus. <laughs> yeah. Bacchus. Yes. Um, but the mornings were a little rough. The One of the first, uh, one of the first uh, days, we went to Achefalaya, which is this amazing restaurant, and we were having, mm -hmm. like, a brunch there. Mm -hmm. And that was the, the hardest one for me to – I felt like I wasn't living up to my Bacchus – kingly yeah. names because everyone's giving right you if people are trying to shake your hand and you're like i'm dragon ass people are giving speeches and stuff and like i've been everywhere i went i was giving a speech like i right. gave a speech yes. uh, we stopped along the parade route i gave a speech to the mayor i way. talked with the mayor and jo and weirdly joey fatone so i talked with the mayor and why is that weird <laughs> just so, it's a random because celebrity because you know? Grandma. joey and fatone I don't feels like feels really natural to me. And, and Darren Chris, <laughs> and uh, so talked with them. Oh wait, Darren Chris is the guy who's the mix of all three of us, right? Is that right? Wait, who's Darren Chris? I don't know who this is. I found a picture of him that looks like we all had a baby, and it's him. Oh, and there, it's a boy. I, mean, yeah, I can see that. Boy. I can see that happening. <laughs> yeah, so I still can't believe that's a Geico. He's leaner than all of us, though. He's a he's a, a slight man. He's a, he's a tiny guy. Well, I mean, we got Blazer. Yeah. Don't worry, me and you, we got we got Blazer pulling that way. But yeah, yeah baby. Yeah. All right, Blake's not that slight though. Blake's a, Blake's a thick, hearty bitch. I mean, I have my shirt off a lot. Can we see? Can we get that shirt off? No, not get now. you in some I gotta, lingerie. I gotta lose a few. I gotta lose a few. All right, fair I enough. Got, I got the uh, New Orleans fifteen on me, dude. I shit, I shit it right off. I'm lighter than when I went. <laughs> you lose. I'm yeah. light. I weigh less than what I went. What I went. You probably didn't eat, right? No, I ate all the time. Oh, yeah? There's all we did was fucking eat, dude. I flossed. I didn't bring floss there. Blake, I'm, I'm good. Relax, dude. Durs. I didn't bring... Dude, all we did was eat. I didn't bring floss there. I flossed when I got home, and it tasted like po' boy, and I was never gross, <laughs> more grossed out in my life. Damn! It was like wow. full-on shrimp po' boy. Yeah. I was like, mm. go, whoa, whoa. And is that your go-to food of choice when you're in Nylons? <laughs> yeah, I, I go I go shrimp po' boy usually or fried oyster, oyster po' boy. Is it a wet sandwich? Is it or is it pretty dry? Oh, a shrimp po' boy? No, it's pretty dry. It's mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is is what right. makes it wet. Was the shrimp dry? The sh no, the shrimp was nice and juicy. <laughs> yeah, I like a wet, wet, juicy. But I, yeah. Well, shrimp's got to be a little wet, though, doesn't it? I feel like shrimp carries a lot of water. It's actually the most refreshing thing you eat of all the New Orleans foods is like a po' boy. Because it's because you're like, it's solid. It's at least. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a deli sandwich has lettuce on it. You're like, OK, cool. Yeah, you, f you feel like it's not that. You could also get a ham and essentially it's just like a ham sandwich or a turkey po' boy. You can get anything. Yeah. Perfect. Right. We know how you feel about those. Yes.
Po' Boys Rock. I have a ham sandwich. God, I ate so much gumbo. What is, isn't there like a lot of fried food? A lot of, a lot of char grilled oysters. A lot of char grilled oysters, which are like oyster covered in butter. Those are unreal. And, and they're fucking delicious. But, uh, yeah. Blazer, can you vouch for those? You might. Sounds like you might have slipped into ketosis while you were out there, buddy. I might have. That's why I came back leaner. I like came yeah. back and I was like, I was like scared to step on the scale, and I stepped on it and was like, oh, hey, bitch, maybe right, I get, maybe right. that's my. Yeah, uh, I don't know what ketosis is, by the way. My body responds well to just eating uh, and consuming twelve thousand calories a day. That's uh. what, what I have to do. And that's what you said to Chloe, who was standing in the bathroom with you. That's. Not okay. Yeah, that's what that's what we call each other. We call each other bitch. Hey, bitch. <laughs> I'm a dude. You, by the dude, way, man. what's cool is there's hey, a bitch. couple there's a couple out there that does that, and you know they throw down. Oh yeah, yeah. they're fun. They're a fun couple. Hey, bitch. Uh, where's where's my bitch? <laughs> bitch, get in here. Hey, actually, I my bag's upstairs, bitch. Would you mind bringing it down? Yeah, yes. Hey, bitch. You got it, bitch. You got to be comfy with that stuff. Anything for you, bitch. Anything for you, bitch. Mm. Good night, bitch. Because oh then it's like when you're when you're mad bitch. at them, you can just kind of get away with it. Where you're like, no. all right, you know what? I'm 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 done. I'm going to bed, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you should go to bed, bitch. No, when you're mad, when you're mad, you switch it up and you go, you know what, honey? Where's my dinner, bitch? Oh, yeah. I know. The condescending, <laughs> sweetie. But you get a, uh, yeah. Adam, Adam, what I'm saying is you get to get away with it. You never say sweetie. Why do you, why? <laughs> oh, you get away with it. Okay. As opposed to being like, when I say cunt, I'm yeah. serious. <laughs> but like, <laughs> if you say bitch, Whoa. like you get to say bitch without like. Happy Valentine's Day, bitch. <laughs> Yeah. That's true. It's, yeah. Happy Valentine's Day, bitch. You know what? Yeah. Um, that makes sense. That sounded mean. That sounded mean. Yeah. But I mean, it's yeah. a good actor, dude. It's yeah, a it's pet good. name. I guess we don't have to celebrate my birthday. I'm a bitch. man. That's fine. That's fine. I wasn't hungry anyway. Well, get your dick bitch. hard for once, bitch. <laughs> Well, maybe you had your dick hard for once, bitch. <laughs> well, maybe if your dick could get hard, bitch, uh, we yeah. would celebrate your birthday, bitch. Yeah. Don't un oh, <laughs> maybe if you could get it hard, bitch. I'm listening. Be uh, cool if you got a job, bitch. <laughs> well, I'm well, listening. you know, Paramount Plus took that away from me, bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know that to be true, bitch. I'm sorry, bitch. Thank you, bitch. Why? I don't know why we go here, bitch. <laughs> the worst is answering the question. We're always fighting answering the question of like what are you working on now right now yeah like i just went i went to yeah, a just, screening by the way went to a screening of cocaine bear yeah. it's so fucking good it's so yeah. fun oh it really is it's a really yeah. fun movie i've heard good things yeah yeah uh yeah it's really really fun but i went to a screening you know it's all like industry people and it's just a lot of like so what are you working on now and it's just a lot of like <laughs> donkey <laughs> Well, uh, <laughs> they canceled our movie, so it's just a lot of... So, was finna do this. Uh, go, and they're like, okay, so what are you doing now? And I'm like, bitch. Rook right. <laughs> <laughs> bitch and I, <laughs> sir bitch. <laughs> you, I was the king of Bacchus. King of, king of Bacchus. <laughs> I would have been shooting this week, bitch. This would have been our first week of shooting, bitch. I got to fucking recalibrate, bitch. It takes a while <laughs> to steer this ship. Yeah. <laughs> bitch, you can't get another project in a week, bitch. Zip it. Bitch, yeah. it, takes, it takes a long ass time, bitch. <laughs> bitch. So, what, so what do you say? Uh, recovering Ooh. from Bacchus? Yeah. <laughs> that was yeah. it. That was... Playing pickleball? Um, <laughs> essentially, I would say that because people were astounded because I know all those guys, like Elizabeth Banks, who directed the movie, right. uh, also was the producer and directed the second Pitch Perfect. And she uh, produced all of the Pitch Perfects. So, and like, I know her whole crew just from Bumper, the years right? of kind of knowing... And Bumper. And yeah. Bumper. Hello. Winning. Which is my current show on Peacock. Uh, now, um, now streaming streaming on Peacock. Streaming on Peacock. Mm -hmm. Adam mm -hmm. forgot. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> totally did. And uh, so I know her whole crew. So people were like, bitch, uh, what are you <laughs> What are you working on? And right. and I, I didn't have anything good to say. Yes! So essentially they, yes! they were actually in shock that I wasn't drinking. Right. Whoa. I am too, actually. They were like, I'm I like I was drinking a soda. Mm -hmm. And they're like, Wait, you're not you're not having are, did you go sober or something? And I'm like right. No 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 no. <laughs> but no, was no. it this? Adam, thank bitch. God you finally went sober. <laughs>
oh yeah it was a lot of like oh well we saw yeah. that coming oh you went sober thank god like whoa 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 cool. no yeah we no. saw that good 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 oh god thank god you were an absolute you know we've all kind of been waiting for this to happen we've all talked about it but yeah we were all waiting for this to happen you were an absolute nightmare right <laughs> that's right <laughs> i went bitch Bitch, I'm taking one day off. Bitch, I'm taking a <laughs> night off. And hopefully it spurs like a renaissance of movies that fucking go. Of fun movies? Yeah, because it, it is just a really fun... Yeah, exactly. And it's super gory. I was like very pumped with the amount of like true gore. Mm -hmm. Like it's foul at some right. certain points that you're just like oh and now he, like mcgruber status eating his guts and dragging the body with the intestines you the right. body's being dragged away yeah just very like how very like how a bear would probably do it and take their oh shit and then god. amped amped oh my up god do you guys do you watch that yes it was like so it was so graphic in a way that you're just like, my God, I, man. I, yeah. I follow this uh, this thing on um, Instagram, this account on Instagram called Nature is Metal. Do you guys know about this? Oh, yeah. Huge fan of Nature is Metal. I I think I've heard. I haven't. Oh, it's just fucking brutal. Really? Like, there's yeah. so many brutalities that happen in yeah. nature. It's like, fuck. So it's videos of animals killing people or other animals? No, 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 no. Not it. Yeah, it's animal on animal. It's it's. It's nature shit. Other animals. It's other animals. It's... Oh, hot animal on animal violence. I want to see them killing people, but... Yeah. Oh. Well, that you have to tune into Faces of I'm Death. Still gonna That's that. where you, you got to get those VHSs, bro. <laughs> da, da, da. Um, that's cool. <laughs> animals are metal. You have to dig out the old VHSs. Nature is metal. Nature is metal. Animals are metal. <laughs> Damn, son. Where'd you find this? Cool. Animals are nature. Nature's animals. Yeah. It's really brutal. They'll just show animals ripping apart other animals and like no. hunting and stalking and stuck. I mean, we put it in Workaholics. We had the classic uh, video of the turtles eating the mice and the fucking... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. I mean, that's that's... That's kind of, I mean, they're saying metal, and I'm thinking that's got to be the video that started it all, right? I think right, it that's is. It. Yeah, that's that's but exactly they, the archetype of what this has expanded from. I mean, before people go there, it is, some stuff is really hard to watch, because there are <clears throat> things where, like, yes. animals are fucking crazy, bro. So, like, they'll have half their fucking body eaten and just kind of be walking like nothing's wrong, and you're just right. like, oh my god, what happened? What I, attacked this animal? I would do the same thing, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Durs is such an animal, bro. <laughs> I could see you doing that. Yeah. I could see Robot. you showing up. Robot. With, like, just a I mean, think about the woman cut. who was stomping the grapes when she fell. She went full animal. <laughs> <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. What's, what's crazy is I feel like... Ow, ow. It's in all of us. Wake up! <laughs> it is. I, I mentioned that not too long ago, and I was talking with a bunch of kids that were probably like 20, and... I thought it was 10. You guys ever seen animals get ripped in half? They were like, they were like 10. No, but they, they, I was like, you, they were talking viral videos, and I, and I said something about this, yeah. the stomp, oh. the grape stomping lady, yeah. and they're like, what? And I'm like, yeah, right. when she fell over, she was like, ow, 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 yeah. and they're no. like... I'm like, oh, yeah, they shit, don't bitch. know it. I was there when the internet started. You know, when uh, Charlie Chaplin <laughs> almost roller yeah. skated off that, you know, and you're like, huh? <laughs> you remember old, the Buster Keaton when the house collapsed uh, and he was yeah. fine? Right. Oh, you never seen that? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I haven't. I have yeah. not checked that out. This one? Ow, 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 stop, ow, oh, stop. Oh, sorry, I have Big Frieda lined up. <laughs> oh, shit. Fucking remix, Big Frida, the dick. <laughs> Dang, he blew the wad Ooh. for the end of the pod. No, man, come on. <laughs> Dude, Big Frida, I was, uh, that was, she's a New Orleans queen, and uh, I was queen. in a, uh, we filmed a, a little music video with Big Frida and myself, and I. Yeah, that was a great day. Legit passed out afterwards. It was like 110 you degrees. You did. Uh, this is a long time ago, right? This was when we were shooting House Party. This dude came out like, right. you must have been, you were on fire when we were shooting House Party, though. 
Oh, yeah. You know, like you were out till fucking, I don't know if you slept when we were making oh, the wow. Yeah, was it not a whole not a whole lot of sleeping happening, and then yeah, and we got we got the bounce queen of New Orleans coming in mm. to do a video. So cool, and and it's like a hundred and five degrees outside. It was so it was one of the hottest days, and we're shooting in this like parking lot, and it was it is sticky hot over there, and it's just take. And we don't have a lot of time to shoot it, so it's like get the energy go, Adam, and Adam, when you start up, it goes. Yeah, probably did like four takes of it, mm. and then of me just shaking my ass with a bunch mm. of her booty dancers, men and hot, women, hot, hot, and hot. the song is like, "Adam, make the booty go bounce, bounce." Yeah. Adam, make the booty go bounce, bounce. Yeah, <laughs> and then you, you got through it, and yeah, you, I think we had this. Just... And then afterwards, I like fucking passed out. But uh, we got to find that track. Yeah, which one do you think it is, man? Uh, we could. We can, uh, what was it? Yeah, you could find a big Frida song. It was, uh, well, we could dig out that uh, clip from House Party. Is it this one? No, hold on, it's a different. I don't think that's I think this is just the intro. No, this is, no, that's a completely, that's, that's queen. just a bad that's, queen, queen. <laughs> fucking that's remix. Queen. That's Queen. That's, that's Queen. That's not Big Frida. That is not Big Frida. That's good. Oh, here we go. Is it Make Your Booty Go? I mean, it could yeah, be, but they're all, they all sound the same. Whoa. Yeah. Hey, Hold on. This, yeah. I mean, say, say the, the, yeah, well, ba bounce right. music. They Bounce music to me all sounds the very much the same. Right. Well, uh, you're not deep in it. Yeah. Well, no, I'm not deep in it, but that is the. It has a, it has a sound. It has a sound though, but that's a lot of my a lot of my vinyls are bounce music from New Orleans from that time because Ooh, I, I was like, that. what's what is what came out of New Orleans? Dude, like, bounce, Kyle. you got to get Ricky B bounce, and I'm like, oh yeah. fuck yeah, dust them off. Part of me wishes Adam was deep into it, and he was like a guy who went and oh, spoke great. at like conferences about it, and was like, well, actually, uh, in in the '90s, uh, around '95, we had a, a sea change, derivative of. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> It's New Jersey House. Uh, right. <laughs> a, a bounce music scholar. Yeah. Right. Right. It would be fucking awesome. That, that would be that would be so tight. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. New. Yeah. New Orleans is a cool place because there's so many super super talented people. The trombone shorties. The Kermit Ruffins. You know what I mean? Fuck mm. yeah, Ruffins, bro. People that are like truly very talented Dude. musicians. And and artists, and then there's just a guy on the on you know standing on a corner being like skip it to top it to boop it to deep it to beep it to talk it to do it to boop. And right. you're as a tourist, you're yeah. like, is this good? Yeah. You're like, I don't know. And then you realize that guy's Doctor John. <laughs> that's Doctor. That's that's Doctor John. <laughs> oh, dude, do you remember there was like the. Yeah, I oh right, I don't think you were out, soul. Adam. But we walked yeah. by this dude, or I He's mean, it was a drag queen who looked David identical to uh, John Gabris, and it was singing his heart out, and it was amazing. Had right. a huge crowd of people, but just like looked like John G Gabris in like a, a beauty pageant wear, and was okay. just unbelievable. Well, that's on like there. They have mm -hmm. so many great um, street performers in New yeah. Orleans, like everywhere, like yeah. Royal, Royal Street. Mm -hmm. Royal Street is straight up. Yeah, there's a lot of great there's a lot of great ones. And then there's also it's the same thing as L.A. where like a lot of really great actors move here and they become mm -hmm. the biggest stars. Right. And a lot of people that move here and then don't and are still very talented. And then there's also lunatics you lose. who <laughs> move to Los Angeles who are like, I'm a good actor. And yeah. then they're just crazy people. And then they're on Tim and Eric. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> you know what, though? I feel like there's an infrastructure and by the way, I'm talking on my ass, but I feel like there's an in infrastructure in New Orleans for those people. And 30 years after being the crazy person playing jazz in the back of like a fucking donut shop, everyone's like, you know, that's the that's the realest dude here. They're an institution. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. probably true. And everybody who's like twenty years younger, like gets them to like drum on their album or whatever, and they're like, "This guy's yeah. fucking. He's the fucking fabric of this shit." Yeah, that's probably that's probably true. If you're crazy for long enough, 
you become an institution. And but also if but in in L A we just oh yeah send you downtown, bro. If you can live through <laughs> yeah, well in L A you become like the Hollywood Jesus or Angeline or right. you know you. It's, I think it's the same if you're lucky. If you're lucky. But it's different. Surviving 20 years of Hollywood and surviving 20 Mardi Gras, you got stripes, dude. Like, that's incredible. Like, to. Yeah, but Mardi Gras only make you stronger. Oh, dude. This one. And that's only once a year, dude. That is true. I know. I feel stronger from it. Run, Runyon Canyon. It's a misnomer. Runyon <laughs> Canyon ain't to get in better shape. Uh -huh. like, that shit runs you ragged. <laughs> runs you ragged. It breaks you. It breaks <laughs> you. That's, it's a. It's an illusion. We got any uh, take backs, apologies, any epic giveaways? I know Blake has a take back from the very beginning of this uh, podcast. I can't even remember it. Yeah, I me neither. Me neither. <laughs> I was hoping you would. I know that I have. I have the. I have the lyrics to California Girls up right here, and there is. Okay, if you could read it like a poem, it would be really cool. That mm. would be really really cool. All right. Well. Can we? Well, this is a lyric. Well, East Coast girls Can are we? hip. I really dig those styles they wear. And the mm -hmm. Southern girls, with the way they talk, they knock me out when I'm down there. Right. Oh, right. The Midwest sure. farmers' daughters really yeah. make you feel That's all right. From. Okay. Yeah, and the Northern more. girls, and the Northern mm -hmm. girls, with the way they kiss, they keep their boyfriends warm at night. Minnesota, Montana. Mm -hmm. Okay. I wish they all Big, could be California. Lips. Yeah. I wish they all could be California. Be California, not in California. Okay. I wish they all could be California girls. <laughs> oh, girls, girls, girls. Mm, okay. Girls, uh, the girls, West Coast has. Girls, here we get girls, to the West Coast. Girls. Okay, 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 okay. We're almost there. I well, the West Coast has the sunshine and the girls all get so tanned. Yeah. I dig uh -huh. a French bikini on Hawaiian island dolls. Man. Sure. It doesn't rhyme. Buy Weird. a <laughs> buy a palm tree in the sand. There it is. Oh, okay. there it go. must be in the way he phrases it. <laughs> I fucking can't read. <laughs> I think it's the way you read it, bitch. <laughs> I think it's the way you read it, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It must be in the bitch. way that he phrases it. That, that makes sense because I butchered it. Go ahead, bitch. Okay, here, the, here's yes, the key. Bitch. I've been all around this great big world and I've seen all kinds of girls. Yeah, uh -huh. but I couldn't wait to get back in the States, back to the cutest girls in the world. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Here I we wish go. they all could be California. I wish they all could Wee be California. I wish they all could be California <laughs> girls. New Orleans girls. Wheel. Easy. Easy swap. And then that's it. Then it just repeats that. And then it just repeats that. Both those verses gets repeated. And then it just repeats, I wish they could all be California girls. So it Hey, and that's why they were so successful. Just so it really doesn't the simplicity make, of it all. But he's he's saying that American so, girls are he wants American girls to be California girls. Right? Yes. Yeah, uh, the first yeah. verse makes it seem like I want all the girls <laughs> see <you. laughs> to come to California, and then the second verse is like his bo his boys were like, "Dude, what the fuck are you doing?" And he's like, "All right, I got I got on the second verse," and then on the second verse he's like, "California girls are the best." Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's 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 probably splitting. Brian Wilson took it off the off the rails, and they're like, what, "That's not what this song is about, dude. What are you doing? The fuck are you doing, man?" <laughs> Yeah, he's like, hey, well, let my best friend Charles Manson sing on this, and they're like, guy, right. I don't know. <laughs> that is that is the Mike Love. I wish I had a machine to put girls in and turn them into California people. He's like, what the fuck is this bro talking about? What? Uh huh. Yeah. Can I rewrite? Oh, I don't know. Charlie wrote Maybe that. Not. Yeah, Charlie wrote that. <laughs> yeah, Charlie yeah. Charlie wrote that. <laughs> well, that's the whole thing. Isn't that the... Their blood tastes better than other girls. <laughs> I want to cut off all their heads. <laughs> they, I love to drink their blood. Charles, okay, it's cool that you're hanging out, but I, you know, we don't really need your input on the lyrics. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know. I just think it's super relatable to talk about how good California girls' blood taste. But uh, whatever. Uh, you know what? and, take your and knife and get out of here, please. Yeah, I'll yeah. start I'll, my own club, bitch. <laughs> oh, good luck. Good luck. Yeah, bro. Uh, spawn Ranch. Yeah. Let's, you, oh, I'm going to spawn my own crew. <laughs> hey. Hey, did you did you bring this salad and this ranch dressing? <laughs> spawn Ranch. Any giveaways? Any take backs? Any uh, epic slams? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I mean, we gave away enough freaking throws. What about? Oh, we gotta give a special shout out to Anthony Mackie, Captain America, yes. who 
showed us the the ropes. The ex ex king a- Anthony yep. Mackey. Uh, mm, he was a king dude. a couple years ago. He's also a New Orleans native, so mm. he had some yeah, insight dude. into uh, the parade. Mm-hmm. He was a very cool dude. He told me to pace myself. I did not. Super sore. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, he's a wise man. <laughs> Super cool guy. What a what a great guy. But but I do wish he was like. Do you have a back brace like you a weightlifting belt for the bead tossing? <laughs> Bro, the beads are weirdly heavy. <laughs> I did. I did. I bought one. I bought a a massaging heated back brace uh, yeah. that I that I've been wearing the last two days. <laughs> Hyperice brought to you uh, by yeah? Hyperice. Right, you gotta get those kettlebells out, man. Oh, Hyperice. Um, yeah. You say Hyperice? Yeah, yeah, get yeah, it, bro. Get yeah. it, bro. Hyperice. Sponsor. Yeah, I got a lot of hyper ice going on over here. Hyper ice, send us some shit, hyper ice. I'm fucking Please, with that shit because of pickleball, dog. I want those leg things. I want the leg sleeves. Oh, I got them. The Norma Tex. I got that. Dude, I got that. You have them? Yeah. Yeah. Both of oh, you guys yeah. do? Pickleball oh, yeah. fucks my shit up, bro. And tell me, <laughs> before we really cut out, tell me yes? how good, how <laughs> worth it. So... I've had them for years and years and years and years pizza, now, pizza. probably the last eight, seven or eight years, and they are amazing. You slip your legs into them. They're like sleeves, and mm. then it, it they can uh, constrict in certain parts, mm. and then they release <laughs> at, certain, at certain times okay. of your yeah. legs. And you can pick these parts. So, like, it feels like there's no – if you set it to the highest, it feels like – the, all the blood is being it wrings the blood out of your legs and then releases and lets it rush in right and then it releases it and it rushes back and your legs feel so rejuvenated it feels it sounds insane it feels insane and super first time first squeeze I'm gonna come. is scary as fuck it's it's scary because you're like i don't know if i can handle this i might yes. it, i might need to I'm bail but if you just knuckle down power through it feels right right it is right. scary that first time i almost ripped the fucking things off dude i was so yeah. scared <laughs> This is strangling my shit. Brought to you by Hyper Eyes. <laughs> uh, but not. Okay. Well, good to know. <laughs> and that's a, to another those. episode oh, of Norma Tess. This is important. It's important. I just want to party. You're not going to go out with New Orleans music? Uh, wait, wait, what the hell? With, hit us with New Orleans <laughs> music, Blake. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, very good. Wait, hold on. Hold on, different version. Now this is New get Orleans to music. It. Okay, get to it. Get to it. That sounded weird. Is I'm this the David Lee Roth one? Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that why it sounds weird? So much better. It's so much better. <laughs> all right. I wish they all, <laughs> they all could be New Orleans, Orleans girls. Get out of there. Get out of here with that shit. <laughs> and we're out of here. Peace.